Here we're looking at graph representations in Racket, so we're going to be using lists. Our first example is uh, this unicycle graph shown on the right. It's represented as a list of edges, and each led edge is a list specifying a start location and an end location. So here, A, B shows the edge from A to B. And this edge list is important vocabulary that's uh, typical in computer science to refer to this type of graph representation. You can imagine a graph can have weights, and we can represent by just in each of the edges, which is represented as a list, having an additional element. So this still is just an edge list, but represented a weight, representing a weighted graph. So we'll do some graph practice. The first function is nodes, which returns all of the nodes in a graph. The first step, I'm going to flatten my graph. This is, sort of seems like cheating, but I'm going to flatten my graph and then remove all the duplicates in my graph, and that'll give me all of the nodes. The function below, kids, takes in a node n, and it should return all of the destination nodes starting at node n in the graph. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to filter to only get the edges that start at node n. Once I have only the edges that start at node n, I can map second onto those to get all of the destinations. Okay, so the big piece comes in, how do I filter out to get only the edges that start at node n? I'm going to need a lambda, which element is going to be an edge, and I'm going to check if n, my input argument, is equal to the first of my edge. So I do that filter, and then again map on the second to get kids. Next, we're going to look at leaf and grandkids in Racket. So leaf is checking if there are no edges that start at node n. So here I can find out if there are all the kids of n, and if this list is null, then there must be no edges that start out at node n. Grandkids, what I'm going to do is I want grandkids of n. First I can find all the kids of n in the graph. Okay, So that'll be a list of nodes. And now what I want to do is I want to map, so do something for each of these nodes, and map kids onto these. So here I'm going to say map kids onto this graph. Think for a second if this is going to work. I run this, if I say grandkids of A in my unicycle graph, I get an arity mismatch for kids. The expected number of arguments of kids does not match the given number, expected to given one. So this kids function expects, again, an element n and the graph. So we need to use a lambda so that we have access to both of those arguments. So we can say lambda, and we're going to take in a single node. And what we do is we call kids on that node and the graph. Here we're just using that original graph. Now this function should work. Oh, we're not totally there. Here, each time we map, we get a separate list. So here what we could do is we could call flatten on this list. And that will flatten the result that we get.